Welcome to this spoken tutorial on how to use Synaptic Package Manager. In this tutorial we are going to learn how to install applications in Ubuntu using Synaptic Package Manager. I am using Ubuntu 10.04 with Genome Environment Desktop to explain this tutorial. You need to have the administrative right to use Synaptic Package Manager. The internet connection should be working fine. So first let us open Synaptic Package Manager. For that please go to System, Administration and then click on Synaptic Package Manager. Here an authentication dialog box appears asking for the password. Let us type the password and press enter. When we use the Synaptic Package Manager for the first time, an introduction dialog box appears. This dialog box has information on how to use Synaptic Package Manager. Let us configure proxy and repository in Synaptic Package Manager for installing an application or package. To do this, let us switch to Synaptic Package Manager window. Please go to setting and click on preferences. There are several tabs on preferences window which appears on the screen. Click on network to configure the proxy settings. There are two options under proxy server, direct connection and manual proxy connection. I am using manual proxy configuration as shown here. You may select your preferred option and click on authentication button. HTTP authentication window appears on screen. Please enter username and password if required and click on OK. Now click on apply to apply the changes. Click on OK to close the window. Now again go to setting and click on repositories. Software sources window appears on the screen. There are several sources to download Ubuntu softwares. Click on download from drop down and hold the mouse to see the list of repositories. Others shows a list of servers across the globe. Click on cancel to close the window. I am using server for India as shown here. Click on close to close the software sources window. To learn how to use this tool, I shall now install the VLC player as an example. If you are using the Synaptic Package Manager for the first time, you need to reload the packages. To do this, click on reload button on the toolbar. This may take a few seconds. Here we can see that the packages are being transferred through the internet and are getting updated. When the process of reloading is complete, let us go to the quick search box present which is on the toolbar and type VLC. Here we can see all the VLC packages are listed. To select the VLC package, please click on the checkbox and select the option Mark for installation from the menu bar that appears. A dialog box appears showing all the list of repository packages. Click on Mark button to mark all the dependencies packages automatically. Go to the toolbar and click on apply button. A summary window appears showing the details of the packages to be installed. Click on apply button 
to start the installation. The process of installation takes some time depending on the number and size of the packages to be installed. As before, this may take a while. Downloading package file window will be closed as soon as the installation gets completed. Now we can see that changes are applying. We see that VLC is installed now. Close the Synaptic Package Manager window. Now let us verify if the VLC player has been successfully installed. To do this, let us go to Applications, Sound and Video. Here we can see that VLC Media Player is listed. This means VLC has been successfully installed. Similarly, we can install other applications using Synaptic Package Manager. Let me summarize. In this tutorial, we have learned how to configure proxy and repository in Synaptic Package Manager, how to install an application or a package using Synaptic Package Manager. A spoken tutorial project is a part of the Talk to a Teacher project supported by the National Mission on Education through ICT. More information on the same is available at following link. http colon slash slash spoken hyphen tutorial dot org slash nmeict hyphen intro. The script for this tutorial has been contributed by Anusha and Shahid. This is Shahid signing off. Thank you and goodbye.